This is poison ivy, and it's on a small Norway spruce tree. And this is what it can do to many people if they get it on their skin. And it shows some damage to it. If you look right here, you can see that this is damaged. It's been, and down in there, you can see that that has been damaged. Well, the reason for that is occurring is that this is a favorite plant for deer. And we have a lot of deer here at Highland Hill Farm. We grow a lot of Norway spruces. But today I'm going to tell you a little bit of how I reuse poison ivy. Because I'm always pulling this out. And if I take this poison ivy out and just put it out here on the ground and then mow it a few times, it doesn't necessarily kill it all. What will happen is it'll, it's a vine and it can uh, grow new roots from the stem when it's laying on the ground, especially if you have a wet year like this. So what I do is, because I'm not allergic to poison ivy to, to any great extent, you can just see a little bit right here in, on my arm where I've gotten some poison ivy. But I don't get a lot of it. So what I do is I go in here and I just reach in here and I find out where it is. And here's the main stem. It's a big one. And I try and get it out of here. Now don't try this unless you know you're resistant or fairly resistant to poison ivy. See? And that stem, it's in there. Here it is. It's got to come out. And I get it out as best as I can. There. Okay. And I put that on the ground right there. And I go over here and I'll find some more. And I collect this up. Now I take this poison ivy now. What I do with this poison ivy now is I brought it over to our four poster deer feeder. And I just sprinkle the poison ivy around here on the ground and I leave it for my deer because I noticed that around my larger Norway spruces that are in weedy areas there's absolutely no poison ivy on them and that's because the deer come here every day to feed at my feeder and they find the poison ivy and they eat it. So it's a companion plant for my deer feeder. And the amazing thing about this feeder is this feeder puts a pesticide on the deer's ear that uh, is uh, good at killing ticks on the deer. And nobody likes deer ticks, so this is the way we control deer ticks. And at the same time, I'd rather have the deer eating poison ivy than valuable nursery stock that we have here. And they'll feel, fill up on the, the corn. And you'd think they eat a lot, but they don't. They only eat about a pound and a half of corn a day per deer here. But they will eat upwards to 50 pounds of greens. So they can use up this poison ivy. Now poison ivy is considered, you know, to be a noxious plant and invasive and all that. But there are landscape value uses of poison ivy. And you know, there's a lot of birds that will feed on the seeds of poison ivy. In the fall, you'll get thrushes, you'll get quail, you'll get robins, and a host of other birds that will feed on it. Also, if you have an area where you have bear, bear will eat on the, on the poison ivy, the, the stems and the, the foliage, as well as the berries. So will raccoons and deer. So poison ivy is not really all that bad, and you can recycle it, as I do, here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. And we grow and sell lots and lots of nursery stock and we have a cut your own tree operation for Christmas time. And we do deliver and install our poison ivy free trees. You can call us at 215-651-8329 or stop into our tree farm at 5275 West Swamp Road, Fountainville. If you need help with plant selections, call us at Highland Hill Farm. We'd be glad to offer assistance.